In a well-publicized speech two months ago in Kansas, the president said we should be strengthening oversight and accountability. Now, I totally agree with that. Uh, there should be stronger oversight and accountability of every government agency. Unfortunately, the CFPB is designed in a way to avoid critical oversight and accountability. The director, whoever it is, can identify financial products and services that he or she alone finds uh, objectionable and, quote, unfair, deceptive, or abusive, and ban them under a highly subjective standard that has no legally defined content. Without question, this gives the CFPB director power that far exceeds those of any other financial regulator. Now, we've seen the EPA do that. Mr. Nugenbauer, I commend you for holding this hearing. We've seen them do some things that the American people have said, well, wait just a minute. Uh, they're doing that to fire trucks now, volunteer fire departments. They've put a new regulation that's costing uh, volunteer fire departments, some of them, the, a, a whole year's budget just to put uh, a different uh, restrictor uh, on their exhaust systems. And uh, it's actually shutting down fire trucks as they go out to fires. Uh, and it's created a real problem. Now, will the CFPB do something as we've seen the EPA do in overreach? I don't know. In a time of a budget deficit, oversight and accountability on spending is urgently important. In this agent, there is no accountability. There's no board, and they have unfettered discretion to ban projects or to declare them as unfair. Fair and unfair <laughs> could be a debate that could go on forever. But it, we actually have somebody that can just say, fair, unfair, one person, no accountability, not even to the president.